What's up, y'all? I'm at the Nissan car lot today. Uh, messed around and left my tripod. We're going to check out some of the rides. I didn't realize these Optimus get such a good gas mileage now. This thing was about near. This thing about near get you 40 miles. <laughs> It'll be close to getting 40 miles to a gallon. Let's see, 2023 Nissan Altima 2.5 SV four wheel drive sedan. Let's see what this going for. $30,000. This is not a bad looking ride, y'all. Got some nice rims on it. Check out the interior. Got a nice looking interior. We just go down the line and then we'll come back up. So, look like we got another. Hold on, that was an Altima. This is a Sentra. Man, these things look darn near the same. <laughs> these cars are the same size. What's the point? <laughs> so, that one was 30000 Uh This one will get you a little bit better ga uh, gas mileage, 33 this one is 26. And ooh, I like this interior, y'all. Got like a peanut butter interior. That's pretty nice. But they darn near. <laughs> it's like a darn near look the same. Just got a bigger grill on the Altima. Darn near look the same. <laughs> you trick somebody if you they had an Altima and they wasn't for sure and you had a Sentra. Y'all like y'all got the same ride. Well, another Altima 2.5 four-wheel drive. Let's see. This one is 28,000. So a little less than that first Altima. I bet this one got. The oh, interior is very similar. I'm not for sure. I thought there for a while you could get these Altimas in uh, all-wheel drive. Got some pretty nice rims on it. It's kind of like it's black. This one gets you 31 miles together. Yeah, this one a little more. 33,000. Uh 65. It's pretty nice. It's the interior on this one. Let me get the camera to focus. I'm filming this in the cinematic mode, so I don't know. I was enamored, enamored with like the little cinematic mode that these cameras get. Now that I see this is more for like sitting down, like head talking videos, but I guess you could kind of move around. I'm surprised with these gas mileage, y'all. This would be a perfect car. This reminds me of uh, the Ford Fusion. Definitely reminds me of the Ford Fusion. And this one was a uh, 2023 Nissan Altima. Y'all been front wheel drive. But like I said, I thought you could get them in all wheel drive. Let's see, go another front wheel drive, 32,000. Not really just looking at the option, just really looking at the price. Hopefully it's coming across on the camera, the options. Oh, basically got the same kind of interiors. Let's look at this. Uh, I don't even know the name of this vehicle just by looking at it. I guess this is a, this isn't a Pathfinder. That's a Pathfinder. No, this is a road. Pathfinder look a little different. <laughs> it's a nice ride though. What size, size are these? Got some 19s on it. Pretty nice. It just got that, that carpet in there. Ooh, that carpet a, a headache, but I guess it saved money. Dang, all these cars get gas mileage. So I'm getting this is a 1.5 liter. 12 valve turbocharged man they are killing it with this gas mileage this is 37 dollars 37,000 a little pricey but far as the gas mileage they just killing it <laughs> i just really came and looked at man this is crazy these gas mileage this one 40,000 front wheel drive we'll see how much an all wheel drive Hopefully one of these will be all wheel drive compared to a front wheel drive. I bet an all wheel drive touching on 40,000. 
platinum front wheel drive. So this one is 39,500. Man, look at that gas mileage though. That is amazing. Go a white one. We we'll go up front and look, they got some of their trucks up front. SL front wheel drive, 39,000. Man, you looking for a nice family vehicle. This is what you get need in this one. That's the kicks. All their cars look fairly similar, which is kind of smart and kind of, I would say a bad thing in a way. This one, 37,955. Let's see what this kicks going. Man, look at this gas mileage. <laughs> $24,000. Only thing is, is a CVT, but I think they kind of didn't got their CVT together. This would be a perfect graduation gift or a college car. Got a real basic interior, but what can you expect? It's like it got no extra features. <laughs> it has optional included by manufacturer splash guard, $220. Carpeted floor mats with cargo mat, $235. So they be milking. They milk these prices out of you. Go another road. 30. Man, this is crazy. It got me $38,000. Nice ride, though. 19 inch rims. Let's see what size rims the kicks get. Kicks get. Da, 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 da. Got 17, so it's not too bad. You want to go the aftermarket route, you can find you some nice 17 to put on their kicks. Another road. I mean, this black is, whew. even though it's still a little dirty from it getting wet and stuff, obviously it's been washed, but it's, this is a nice looking ride, 40,000 front wheel drive so I, i'm guessing these rogues don't come in all wheel drive you would think they would have an all wheel drive version like the top of the line is the platinum front wheel drive thirty-seven thousand. what i'm just blown away is this gas mileage this is like amazing 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 gas mileage For it to have this such a small motor, 201 horsepower, 255 pound feet of torque. We got to go look and see on the Altima and the uh, Sentra, what's the horsepower and torque of it said on there. We go run over there and look. It's gonna be the last road, I think. Go check out their trucks, which is what I really wanna look at. <laughs> 37,000 front wheel drive. Let's go see. We go by the look at the Sentra and the Altima right beside each other. See if it say how many horsepower and the torque they got. I bet the Sentra got the same motor that Rogue got in it. So let's look at the Sentra. This is a nice interior on the Sentra though. It's like a peanut butter <laughs> diamond stitch. Uh, so this has the two liter 145. 149 horsepower, uh, 145 pound feet of torque. So, different motors, or they got them tuned different on the Rogue and the Sentra. 2.5, so 188 horsepower, 180 torque. So, the Rogue's 1.5 is beating both of these. This has the 2.5, and this has a, a two liter in it. Let's go look at this one more time. What it says on the road, it's on this side. We'll look at the kicks and see what the horsepower and torque it is on those. So this is a turbocharged engine. So that's the one benefit of the turbocharged engine. Feed it more air, get you more horsepower and torque. 201, 225. So the 1.5 turbo motor is beating the 2.5 and the two liter. And this is a 1.6. They not tell you the horsepower and torque on it. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to see if we can look it up and see what the horsepower and torque is on it. I bet it's pretty low. <laughs> I bet it don't got more than 150, 
150 uh, if dead. It's probably it's probably real low. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's low as a mirage. Uh, Mr. Bishy Mirage, but I bet it's pretty low. Let's look at this one. Oh, that's what it is. They got rid of the Maxima. <laughs> they got rid of the Maxima, y'all. That's crazy. And the Ultima and the Central look the same. This one, 28,000. Not too bad. Let's see. They got an Infinity up here. I wonder if somebody done traded it in or they actually selling the Infinities at this dealership. It's a nice selection of cars. See if this is a new one. Uh, I bet this is a trade in. But it's nice though. Pretty nice. Pretty nice ride. Look at this. Uh, like these are more of a traded in cars or cars they're working on. <clears throat> Let's go over here and look at these uh our models with still the big V8 in them. Hand getting tired, y'all. <laughs> we got some trade-ins. Got a Vol Volkswagen, about to say a Volvo. Got a Jeep, nice forerunner. <laughs> That's a nice forerunner. These Amaras have always been nice vehicles, in my opinion. We can find the price tag on it. So this interior screen look just like the screen that was in the uh, Altima. See if any of these have prices on them anywhere. I don't see the price on them nowhere. I wonder if this one is like a, maybe a used one. Well, this, yeah, these probably used. It's a 2022, so it's probably used. Still got a nice interior, got your leather seats. Don't have a, uh, don't have a third row. Let's see if this one have a third row. So these are not three row vehicles, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, that is a three row vehicle. Three row, I'm tripping. What size rims and tires are these? It gotta be some 22s. Just 60 R20. So these are some 20s. Just got you some big meaty tires on them. I'm not gonna really look at these. I'm guessing these are all trading. Got your nice Tundra up here. I guess this is another trade in. I'm not gonna look at that Tundra. Like it might be a trade in too. I'm guessing all these are trade-in vehicles. I'm assuming because I don't see no, I don't see no window sticker on them. Let's see, are these trade-in vehicles too? They don't got many, don't got many trucks, but I bet they sell they, I bet they sell their trucks pretty quickly. Oh, this is a Toyota. <laughs> and these are all trade-ins, but all these are 22s. 22, 22 Volkswagen. Even though that, that Passat nice. Sentra, Sentra. Let's look at this. These Frontiers are nice trucks. I know the generation before this or the 2022 year. Pretty nice rides. Let's see what motor it got it. Ooh, 3.8 V6, 310, 281 torque. Let's see what they're going for. 45,000. Get you. About 20 miles to go. This is a this is a nice color. I actually like this color. Green is my favorite color, so it's pretty nice. Like you got you some uh LED daytime running lights. See what size. He's a 17, but got you some got you some nice meaty tires. Pretty nice ride. Let's see. 2023 Nissan Titan V8, 5.6 liter endurance V8. So this one has 400 horsepower, 413 pound-feet of torque. Let's see, this one is $52,000. So I'm guessing this is about the size rims and tires of these. 18, so this is pretty much the same motor that's in your Armada. Got another Titan, 52,000, same motor. I think they just got, they got one motor that goes in their, uh, uh, Titans. This and this is a trade in. 
pretty nice rides though. Then I think they got a, a nice kind of specked out frontier up here. I don't know if that one brand new or if it's old. They got TRD Pro right here, Tundra. That's a trade in. We ain't gonna really look at it, even though it's it's pretty nice. Look at this frontier. I'm guessing this is a pretty new one. Oh, this might be a 2020. No, oh, this is new. This is a nice ride, y'all. I don't like this this bar on the back though. It's nice though. You have to get you a bed liner in the inside. I'm about to fall. Let's see what Mona saw. We got the 3.8. 310 horsepower 281 torque so like these only got one motor we're gonna hop on over to the uh i think it's uh it's a volkswagen dealership over there we're gonna hop over there all right y'all appreciate y'all watching i'll catch y'all later uh we'll take a stroll around back here and look what they got used uh i said i wasn't gonna look at it but i'm i'm it's crazy they don't got the Maxima no more. Look what they got back here used. They trying to hide back here. They go, it's probably a 16. Altima. Somewhere around there. They got this stuff hid back here they don't want you to see. Just take a look, glance at them. I mean, these are still nice vehicles right here. I like this black Sentra. <laughs> Got an old Maxima. <laughs> so they don't want you to see back here. Maybe some repos or who knows what. I like that Sentra. And I like that Maxima. Yeah, they got you some stuff back here. Maybe you can find a deal back here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get over to this Volkswagen dealership.